Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I'm coming at you with a haul. This time it is from iHerb.com. If you are new to my channel and haven't heard me mention iHerb a bajillion times, which is how many times I have mentioned it, it is an online store that sells um, mainly what I recommend to buy uh, Real Techniques brushes, also Physicians Formula makeup, e.l.f. makeup, as well as a whole heap of other products, skincare, hair care, and a lot of natural products, as well as supplements and things like that, at US recommended retail prices. They also have really good shipping options. I usually go for the $8 DHL Express shipping, which comes really, really fast. This order I got in less than a week, I believe, from when I ordered it coming from the US to Australia. That is absolutely awesome. So I'm just going to jump into the things that I picked up. First is the main reason that I did this order. And this is from, I believe the brand is called Aztec Secret. And this is their Indian Healing Clay. It's supposedly the world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. It's 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. I think I'm saying that right. So what you do with this, this is a, a clay mask, something that is, I guess, similar to something like the Glam Glow mask or any other kind of clay mask. They're supposed to help pull out imperfections from your skin to the surface and hopefully like clear your skin, clear blackheads, clear things like that. Really, really cleansing for the skin. This one is actually like a dry powder that you mix. I used this for the first time the other night, mixing one part apple cider vinegar with one part of the clay and it seemed to work quite well. You apply it, you're supposed to leave it for 5 to 10 minutes if you have sensitive skin or 10 to 20 minutes if you have, I guess, normal skin. I left it for the full 20 minutes and I could really feel it working on my skin my skin it, it didn't really feel anything to begin with and then after about say nine eight or nine minutes I started to feel my skin pulse a little bit it didn't hurt or sting in any way but I could definitely feel it doing something so I'm gonna keep on using this I tried it out on both my mum and my sister as well we all experienced a little bit of redness where we had applied it I kind of applied it in my sort of t-zone area on my nose just anywhere where you have sort of enlarged pores so it's not something that you do before you go out you definitely would do this at night time before you plan on going to bed so any redness will go away it went down within a couple of hours I before I even went to sleep the redness was gone but definitely a nighttime thing I'm gonna continue to use it because it was really inexpensive and if it does work as well as something like the Glam Glow Mask which is $75 for a tiny little jar then this could be really really great. Next thing that I picked up was a couple of makeup products from Physicians Formula. The first one is a new product I believe to the brand. This is their Healthy Wear Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 50 in it. It says water resistant up to 80 minutes. This is in the light natural color or light to natural color and it says lightweight hydration, natural coverage and finish protects prevents and restores. It has really cute packaging, a little pump here. There are a few different shades. I got the light to natural which I actually think is is okay for my skin in summertime but it probably would be too dark in winter so already I can say that the color selection is probably not the greatest. If you have pale skin then there probably isn't a shade for you. I've only used this once. It does just have a kind of light it feels really just like a tinted moisturizer. It's not sticky at all. It seems to blend out quite easily as well. It's very smoothing. It does have a light coverage to it. I wouldn't say it's anywhere near full coverage, but you definitely get some coverage from it. A lot higher coverage than I've experienced with other tinted moisturizers before. I would equate this more to a BB cream kind of coverage, at least in my experience. It feels quite hydrating on the skin and that SPF 50 is fantastic. So I'm gonna continue to play around with this, see how it goes. Also from Physicians Formula, I decided to pick up the Organic Wear Fake Out Mascara. I have used the similar mascara in this packaging before. This is the Organic Wear uh, Ultra Black Mascara. The packaging is really quite unique. I love the hot pink color. I, when I first saw these, I thought they might be difficult to hold the wand, but I don't really have a problem with it. The brush itself is rubber bristles. They're quite short. Some people like this, some people don't. I find that I really enjoyed the uh, original version of this, the green packaging, so I thought I would give this one a try. It says this is the first ever mascara with 100% natural origin lash extension fibers for full on fringe lashes without irritation. Innovative formula amplifies lash volume, length and curl. It says the oversized brush creates a fabulously false, false lash effect instantly and it's 100% 
recyclable. I haven't had a chance to really play around with this yet, but I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. Next I picked some makeup products up from e.l.f. I'm really late on the bandwagon with e.l.f. makeup, but I do know that some of my viewers are quite young and don't have as much money to spend on makeup, so I like to have a good mix of both high-end and more inexpensive products. The first thing that I picked up was a few of their blushes. These are from the studio line and I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I thought I would give them a go. The first one that I have here is Mellow Mauve. These have really nice packaging, quite sleek have a small mirror there and then they have the blush here. I actually quite like this colour. It reminds me a little bit of Nars' Sin. It has that kind of sort of dusty purple pink tone to it. Very, very pretty. I've only used these briefly but so far I'm quite impressed with the pigmentation. You do definitely get some colour payoff. There is a little bit of powder kick up when you apply, put your brush in but not so much that I'd be deterred from using them. The next shade that I have here is Pink Passion which is this gorgeous, really, really vibrant pink colour. I love this. It looks a little bit scary almost in the pan but it makes a really, really nice light pink cheek. The final shade that I picked up here is Tickled Pink. This one is a really nice natural pink shade, slightly brown undertones to it, a little bit peachy as well. This would make a really nice natural cheek look and again really quite pigmented as well. So, so far I'm impressed with these blushes. I'll definitely have to play around with them a little bit more. And the other e.l.f. product that I picked up was their Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder, again from the Studio line. In it you get this nice compact, a full size mirror, and then you get two shades. You get a bronzer or contouring shade and then a peachy pink kind of blush. These are being compared to NARS um, Orgasm and Laguna. I wouldn't necessarily compare them. I think that that's probably going a little bit too far. But looking at them, they seem to be quite nice colours. They do seem to have a little bit of shimmer in both of them, but not too bad. I maybe would see me using the brown shade more as a bronzer than a contour shade, but I'll definitely play around with these a little bit more and see how they go. Like I said, I wouldn't necessarily call them a dupe, but that doesn't mean that they're not a good product in their own right. Moving on, I have a kind of random purchase. This is from the brand Method and it's their Pink Grapefruit Naturally Derived Hand Wash. My last few orders that I've done from iHerb, I've been picking up random Method hand washes. I really like these because they foam up and smell so good. I have the waterfall scent, which is like an aqua colour in my room at the moment, in my bathroom, because it kind of matches my bathroom decor. Decided to pick what this one up because I love pink grapefruit scents. And it smells really really good. It's really citrusy, really kind of grapefruity. The next product I picked up was a skincare product. This is from a brand which is spelt Valida, but I think it might be pronounced Valida. Correct me if I'm wrong, it is a German brand and fun fact, my German is even worse than my French. But this is basically their skin food, which is a moisturizer for dry and rough skin. I picked this up because over the last say five or six months I have really hurt my feet. I've done a fair bit of damage to them starting back at iMats last year where I basically wore shoes all day and then could not walk for about three days afterwards because my feet were so damaged so at this point my, my feet have basically gone you know what Rachel you've treated us bad so now we're going to be dry and cracked and yucky so I basically need to give them some TLC and I decided to pick this product up to see if I could sort of just give back a little bit of love and care. It does say it's for dry and rough skin such as on hands, feet and elbows apply several times a day with a gentle massage. It is a moisturizer but it has kind of like it's a little bit of a gel moisture hybrid. It's quite thick and it's slightly like oily like it's something that you could use really to massage into your skin. It smells very like herbally, but not in a bad way. I quite actually like the scent. And then last but not least from my iHerb haul, I decided to pick up some lipsticks. iHerb does have a lot of brands that I've never heard of and I kind of like to branch out and see if I can find some random gems of products. This is from the brand, again it's a German brand and I can't pronounce it. It's S-A-N-T-E, which I would go to pronounce Sante, but I think it might be Sate. I don't know. Anyway, these are the lipsticks here. These I did not realize. When you order online, you just, you really can't tell the size of things. I will show you guys originally what I was attracted to was the packaging. They're like little baby lipsticks. Look, they're about, they're even smaller than a MAC lipstick for comparison. But really, really cute. I picked up two. They have this gorgeous kind of duochrome, like oil slick packaging. 
They are natural products. The first shade that I picked up here was number 9, which is kind of like an apricot red shade. It didn't look quite like this on the website. It's not really a me color, but I've kind of worn it and it's definitely growing on me. So I'm going to continue to sort of play around with this color. Definitely a unique color for my collection. And the other shade that I picked up here was number 2. This one I'm actually wearing today. It's a gorgeous kind of plummy pink shade. Really, really like that. It's quite moisturizing on the lips. One thing I would say is that the texture of these is a little bit gritty because they do have like, it looks like micro shimmers in it. Not so bad that it feels like sandpaper on your lips, but they're not completely smooth either. So if you can't stand any kind of texture in your lipstick, then you probably would skip these. But so far I'm enjoying them and I mean the packaging alone is amazing and I would probably have them for just the packaging. They're also really cute for the handbag as well because like I said, they are kind of like minis. Okay guys, that's pretty much everything that I got on my iHerb haul. I did get a freebie. I got an iHerb.com little, what is this called? Shower cap? I don't really use shower caps, but it's a nice little touch. I will list all the products for you guys in the description box below along with prices and links where possible. I also always include at the bottom of my videos a iHerb discount code for first time purchases. It doesn't expire, it's just there. It's one of these things that if you shop for the first time, if you spend under $40, you get $5 off, or if you spend over $40, you get $10 off. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, one of these codes is just generated for every time that somebody makes a purchase. So if you make a purchase for the first time, you will get your own discount code that you can share with your friends, and then you can actually make a percentage from their purchases if they choose to use your discount code. So it is a really good system. I have managed to pick up quite a few free products based on that system, so it is definitely worth getting your own code and sharing it with your friends and family and other than that I'm gonna go I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul let me know if you have any questions about the products or if you've used any of these products before or what you picked up on your last iHerb order because I'm probably making another order very soon because I have some skincare that I want to pick up so I'm gonna go I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll see you all in my next video bye